Hello my friends and welcome to episode 51 of the Mighty Miniatures campaign. Uh, we didn't decide on any contract last time. So we are going to decide on that now. And both of these uh, look very tempting. Destroy base and uh, the straight up battle is usually not too bad either. Um, one is much better salvage and one is much better money. So, I am going to go with the one that's much better salvage. By your command. Because we're just after mechs now, more than anything. That work order you submitted is complete. Right. I usually like to do this at the end of an episode, because, uh... Traveling is kind of boring, and I just want to get straight into the action, but you know. The uh, previous episode ran a bit long, so uh, we had to uh, just go. Uh... Okay. I can't remember um, <clears throat> what happens if you choose the other option, but I think you might pick up the drunk tag or something. Which is a permanent tag and is undoubtedly probably not a good thing, so uh, I'm going to avoid that. Right. Let's get the griffin out. Get the Thunderbolt in now that it's repaired. And let's rumble! It's always risky taking salvage on a dis on a uh, destroy base to be fair because um, turrets are garbage and they fill the salvage table with junk. But, hopefully if there's just one or two good mechs, then we can capture them. Man, I'm still like waking up tactically. <laughs> yeah. It's funny, it's like by the time you get into the game, the uh, the episode is usually over, so um, sort of playing without warming up a lot of the time. Okay, it's this map. This map gives us a lot of uh, tactical options. You betcha. Great LOS blockers, great cover. Great places to lure enemies in close so that you can capture them. Move into position. Bandit. Okay, we have two mechs. They've got to sort of come up here before they can see me. Oh, it are now. 65 tons. Thunderbolt. Catapult. And a heavy. But where? No, not a heavy. Well, I mean, they're all heavies. They've all got they've got the um 
normal heavy, and the other two have got the initiative thing. Hmm. The fact that they've got the uh, the initiative bonus is going to make it quite difficult to capture them. It's a pair of catapults. Fully armored too. They got a sensor lock on me. Orders. Move order received. I'll see if I can rip their legs off. That'll probably be the easiest way to deal with them. What can I do for you? Okay. Uh, minimal damage on that hit. He's got bulwark. Orders? Oh, I'm not going to get close easily. Position confirmed. Ha, huh, nice. Don't actually feel like I was close enough to start getting the legs and yet I just suddenly just got them. Coordinates received. Roger that. Firing on target. Come on, get him. He has fortunately angled himself in such a way Waiting that he has order. given me direct access to his leg. Heading out. But I don't have enough morale to uh, do a cool shot. Target's taken a critical hit. Here we go. Right, this either takes his leg off or I'm going to be cursing the, the, the uh, cursing this game. Come on, get that leg. Nope. Enemy mech critical damage detected. Not even one hit landed. I don't know why. It seems like I don't know if they changed something, but it just seems like. Your chance of hitting the leg is much lower these days. This is all going to go into CT now. Waiting for orders. And that's not going to be helpful. You. Okay, since this is not working out, what we're going to do is we're just going to kill this one and try and capture the other one. All weapons committed. See ya! It's go time! Enemy mech destroyed. 
will punch this one to death. Ha! He totally took the bait there. The damage is light. We'll try and capture this one, and then we'll try and capture this one. Good to go. On my way. Putting my weight into it. Let the punching commence. Commander? The great thing about these mechs is that they uh, store all their um. Affirmative. They store all their weapons in their arms, so uh, it's relatively easy to just rip them off. Targeting Alpha Strike. Oh, it's a Jaeger. I thought House Katrina had sent all of its finest, but apparently not. I hear ya. Well, that's bad news. On my way. The old Jaeger mech has got a lot of armament, and his position up there is very good. Yes, Commander. I seem to be having real troubles oh. knocking this guy over. Targets taken a critical hit. I mean, all he's got to do now is brace and he'll recover enough stability. Ah, oh, but fortunately, that is not what he did. Losing armor. Well, I certainly can't allow that Jaeger mech to just sit there and shoot me. Sixty nine per cent. Let's try it. Ha. Huh. Put more shots into the CT than I did the uh, the leg. Even on a seventy per cent chance. God, this capture mission is not going very well. Waiting on you, Commander. Um, what are the odds that I punch the leg? Don't need to tell me twice. Going toe to toe. Standing by. Let's try it. If we get the leg, we get the leg. If we don't, then he's just going to die. That missile turret's not really like the biggest deal. Hell yes! All weapons committed. Let's just try and rip the arms off the Jaeger. 
on my way. Come on. Scored a critical hit. Ouch. Alma breach. Internal damage. Good to go. I've got to capture one of these. Otherwise, I'm not going to get my payout. Let's try and get the Jaeger. Oh my god, we nearly got the leg. What's up, boss? Come on, one shot. That's all I need. Engaging with target. Yay! Critical hit, commander. Okay, catapults back up. Reporting. We'll see if we can push him over damage. again. Not much armor left in that location. That LRM turret is a pain in my ass. I'm here. Oh man, he's only got like five HP. Ah well. Time to get physical. No retreat. One less target. The rear armor on my Kintaro is full, so if the missile turret or the Jaeger mech targets it again, they're not going to do any real damage. And I need to start showing my left arm with the Thunderbolt. Um, I suppose I've got to get up there and deal with this Jaeger. The problem is, is that even if you target something, you still have a 25% chance of hitting CT. Not very helpful. Um, we really need to wait for him to stand back up and then try and saw the leg off. I'm ready for orders. Location confirmed. What is that? Is that like someone's... Some bit of something. It looked like a giant hammer for a second there. I was like, what? <laughs> what can I do for you? We'll jump jet over. <clears throat> Hopefully... He exposes his healthy side to me, and then I can take his legs off. They've got a sensor lock on me. Cool. He did. They did go for a rear strike. Right, let's try and knock him over, shall we? Actually, I think my hunchback is the only one who can get a side shot. Yep. Good to go. Uh, Kentaro's legs are too damaged. So the Kentaro will just have to sit this one out.
Okay, so my thought is, and we only get one chance at this, go. that we DFA. Hopefully we don't hit CT here. Got it. Okay, that's okay. Now we jump in and we rip that leg clean off. Hopefully. All weapons committed. Come on. Target. Yes. Enemy mech destroyed. <clears throat> it worked. <laughs> Lucky me. Good to go. You have to do a lot of faffing around when um you don't have perfect pilots. You know, by this point in many other campaigns, I had nearly perfect pilots who could uh, easily get a perfect shot on an enemy target. And I I just don't have that. Here we go. Just giving them everything I've got. Right, let's get rid of these irritating turrets. That have so readily been a pain in my ass. Engaging jump jets. Three will do. Just a one hundred percent guarantee. Target destroyed. I hear ya. We'll send the quick draw in. Got it. Just because it's uh, got nearly full health. Here we go. Enemy structure is weakening. Good shot, Commander. Boom. Enemy structure down. Should be a simple cleanup from here. It would have been nice to capture more stuff, but with my limited firepower and Mech Warrior's uh, pilot skill, it's just a little bit too tricky to pull off. Jumping. Okay, so that's where the missile spam turret is. Whoa! Easy on the armor, buddy. How dare you? Okay, PPC turret as well. Standing by. Barbecue time. Man, I'm never going to give up the hunchback. I love that firepower. Receiving you. What do you need? Uh, I can't sprint because I am unsteady. There is a payout bonus for killing the turrets, so we will we will kill them. We won't just take out the buildings and run. Yeah, Commander. On my way. What am I aiming at here? There's like a red line to something. But what? 
Isn't that odd? Oh, it is this building. It's just that the red line like kind of disappeared. Okay. Fire. Don't need to waste so many missiles on that. Payday. Okay. Ready for orders. Confirm. You have been a right royal pain in my ass. It's situations like this where the firepower restrictions really start to bite. You know, by this point in the game, usually you'd be one-shotting turrets easily. But I'm not. And that makes a big difference at times. The last one's a sniper turret, so shouldn't be too difficult to get up to close go. and uh, put an end to it. Yeah, D I love DFA. It's a uh, it's a really valuable tool sometimes because it's the only ranged attack in the game that can remove braced status. Uh, and I mean, you know, remove it directly, not, you know, remove it because you broke, you broke a mech's leg and it fell over. That obviously removes bracing as well. But I mean more like it's the only uh, move that actually just directly 100% removes that bracing. You don't have to do anything special for that, it just works. Waiting for orders. She got a shot. Engaging jump jet. I'm ready for orders. Move into position. Well, the Thunderbolt has got a shot. Target confirmed. Oh, I thought we have to land every shot to make the magic that happen, and we done. totally did. Exiting combat. Sweet. Engaging Goodbye. Target. It's time to bug out. Get to the LZ for extraction. Woohoo! That was not as good as it could have been. But, it's fine. I certainly could have put more in the loot table here. But I do complete a Jaeger mech, and that's pretty awesome. Take the PPC because it's uh, worth the most money. That was definitely a mission where it was worth taking salvage. More mech parts would have been nice, but I am happy with what I got, which is basically half a heavy. Right. Here she is. Are you better than any of my existing mechs? I think that you are. I think you have potential. 
over the trench bucket, definitely. Great potential. Okay, that's cheap. That's cheap. And that's cheap. I'm thinking a melee Jaeger. Can't believe I'm saying that. So we're talking like full armor. Cockpit. Arm mod. The jump capability to close the distance. Uh, let's trim that armor back slightly. Uh, actually, we'll keep the legs as they are. There we go. And then, obviously, in terms of weapon systems... The lasers are neatly uh, organized in the uh, in the torso. There we go. Reach out and punch somebody for a quite a lot. Heat sinking is not bad either. It's either this or my classic 4 AC2 design, but I don't... I don't really feel like that's a great idea. I do have four of these stab damage plus 10 AC2s, though. So my classic 4 AC2 design. If I was going to do it on any mech, it would be this one. Right, let's get the heat sinking in and let's just see what we come up with. Okay, so... Not bad at all, really. Ten. Ten, um... Well, nine overheat. So basically, we can just run all these weapons infinitely. It's either this or my classic um, 4 AC2 design. And it becomes a sniper mech. Which wouldn't be bad. 100 damage at long range is pretty good. I mean, you know, we know that we can beat the whole game with the 4 AC2 design. But this is also pretty vicious. I think we'll try this. And if I don't like it, then we'll strip it and we'll go with the 4AC2 design. Logged and noted. Shouldn't be too hard. Certainly a nice piece of kit though. Whoa. Ah, uh, whoa. <laughs> Jesus. These are very hard contracts, and I will almost certainly lose. Both escorts as well. We would definitely see assaults in this mission. can't imagine that we wouldn't.
I mean, at this point, the difference between four and a half skulls and five is basically a moot point. Hmm. I think I just don't want to. Those contracts are too hard for what I have. I mean, I could risk it. I've, you know, I did some risky, uh, risky mission for uh, episode fifty. But the chances are that I would take way more damage than I would gain. But you know. Could have worked out. That's the thing about Iron Man. I, I, I mentioned it before, but you know, why take the risk? Sweet. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. Okay. Waypoint reached, Commander. Let's go to the shop. What are we got in here? Nothing that I want. Oh, I'll have that. New equipment available. I can go in my Jaeger mech. It's uh, a little bit overcooled, in my opinion. Sell off the PPCs. Okay. What am I looking at? There we go. Oh, Jesus. A five skull hard contract. Oh, how I don't want to do that. Well, the money on this mission is definitely not worth it. This rumble. I kind of regret not taking the five skull under mission. Just to see. There is always the, t the lure and temptation of the withdraw button. Well, let's see what we can get. One uh, thing that I feel like is kind of a flaw about this game is, as you progress with the campaign, it just gets harder. Moving out. And so, you know, if you're a sort of lower skilled player, you start to lose. You take losses, you get a setback. 
It's very difficult to recover because all of the easier missions will disappear. Copy that. Uh huh. And that kind of leaves you in a position where uh, a couple of things going badly wrong can just basically end your game permanently. Move order received. Hi, Sam. Let's do this. Okay. What am I looking at? 55 tons. 35 tons. Copy that. I have no interest in capturing a 35 ton mech. Or a 40 ton mech. Especially not a chicken walker. Damage minimal. Orders? What is that? Fifty five tons. Certainly don't mind capturing fifty five ton mix. Nice. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. We kill the light mechs quickly. Location confirmed. Letter rip. And then once they're gone, we try and capture the larger ones. Sell them for money. That was easy. Good to go. The real issue is getting close so I can start meleeing. Oh, a vehicle. Striker. Light damage, Commander. few more enemies than I was expecting there. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I hate these guys. That is definitely an LRM carrier. Armor breach. Internal damage. Okay, let's just get rid of you. Engaging target. Ugh, it's behind a friggin' rock. What a pain in the ass. Commander. Oh, Wolverine. Okay. This is turning into quite the ugly little ambush. Anything, I have to actually get up there and get that LRM carrier.
Reporting enemy contact. Lock it on target. Okay. I hear ya. Places Don't to, to be. Special delivery. Come on. It's go time. Should have run when you had the chance. Oh, it's a Manticore, not a striker. I should have known from the tonnage. Not the biggest deal. Armor blow through. In oh, there goes my shield arm. Oh, he came out. Ow, 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 ow. Internal structure damage. Yes, Commander. Okay, the Griffin is showing me its weapon side, which is very nice of it. Oops, I just overheated myself. <laughs> this heat is cooking my internal structure. Ooh, that is really, really bad. Let's disable the Griffin's weapons. If we can. No, nope. I can't do enough damage. Engaging target. Please tell me that's not a DFA. Oh, it totally is. Weapon system down. Jesus, how does he even have a shot? Losing lots of armor. Waiting on you, Commander. You betcha. Right, we're gonna make sure that this little git dies. Should be that. Firing on target. Okay. I feel bad about shooting the little guys. Don't ever feel bad about shooting the friggin' LRM carrier. Important internal damage. Commander? Uh, you are done. You are dunzos. You are dunzies.
Your rear armor will serve as target practice for one turn. No shooting, just running. Okay, change of plans. I gotta kill all these guys and I gotta kill them fast. Okay. Or disarm them. I'm gonna fall back both to cool off and to reduce the amount of people shooting at me. Bye. Okay. I'm punching out. <laughs> Time to eject. Commander. On my way. Jesus, 3 HP. <laughs> I think Glitch survived with 2 HP once upon a time as well. I certainly know how to push my luck. So busy thinking about how I'm going to get that delicious salvage that... Uh, Minor damage, Commander. Left myself open to getting my ass kicked. Standing by. Sometimes forget that I'm playing one of the hardest campaigns on Earth. If not the hardest campaign on Earth. Firing. Whatever the, uh, whatever these mechs are. It will hopefully take them quite some time to get around the corner. Engaging target. I'm gonna kill this guy, retreat, cool myself down, and then uh, re-engage once my mechs have cooled off. I really do need a cool off turn, but I really need to get rid of this guy first. Engaging target. Enemy 
enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Let's go in. This biome does work very strongly against my uh my mechs. Good to go. Okay, we nearly got his weapon systems. One more good solid connection and he's done. This taking the shot. We'll finish him. Okay. Target neutralized. Now we can cool down. Waiting for orders. Moving to position. Looks like this yeah. tank is coming around the corner. Heading out. Heat sinking is real. AI does not handle going around terrain very well. I mean, this guy is just like driving back and forth, back and forth, like he's got no idea where to go. Commander? Right, Commander. Roger that. Take him down. Oh, nearly got him in one blast. Good to go. Position confirmed. Two HP. I think a bit of missile splatter ought to, uh, ought to finish that job. There we go. Move her down. I should have disengaged sooner. But, you know. Mistakes get made. Waiting for orders.
Um, if I do this, I need to do a vigilance. Coordinates received. Okay, what am I looking at? A vindicator and a wolverine, both braced. Let's not risk overheating. Uh, in fact, we'll go with the high accuracy ones. Firing on target. Wait until he unbraces. Orders. Roger. You can just cool off. Okay. Cool, he moved. Uh, dang it, that hurt. Hi, hi. Right, let's kill him. But before we do, let's just see what the other mech does, because he might make himself more vulnerable. Ah, I'm going to need a medic. Jesus, two headshots in a row. Receiving you. Copy that. Let's get these guys disabled ASAP before another errant headshot finds its way into the cockpit. He DFA'd, I remember. So... Commander? If I can get into a position where I can hit his legs... I could rip him off. Affirmative. Affirmative. Come on. Critical hit. Give this guy the sandwich of fury. All weapons committed. Okay, one more blast and he's done. Light damage, Commander. Good to go. Right. Right, Commander. Let's get rid of that leg, shall we? Right, Commander. Critical hit, Commander. Down you go. Now, all we do is we shoot at the other one and hope we get one hit, which is all we need. Engaging target. Nice! Enemy mech destroyed. What do you need? Move order. That was easy. Yes, Commander. 
keep firing. Except that I might have missiles. Roger that. Long Unfortunately for me. Are out. Minimal damage. Right. right. Hmm, I can't seem to sprint. Engaging target. Huh, I hit him in the head. Waiting for orders. Got it. We use a precision strike to actually push him back in the turn order. Just so I can get braced. Firing on target. Well, my hunchback has got full health, pretty much. Which is nice. Usually the AI goes for the Hunchback because it has like a lot of firepower for its armor, Ready for order. but uh, on this occasion they have not. Engaging target. Oh, there we go. I spoke too soon. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Commander? Right, Commander. I guess he's just gonna sit there until one of us dies. And it will be him. Come on. Good to go. What I wouldn't give for coolant flush. Critical hit. Come on, die please. This low firepower oh, thing God. is like... This this is when this campaign becomes truly difficult, is when your firepower just runs out. Especially on a hot biome. Roger that. Whee! Critical hit, Commander. Well, now he's down to a medium laser, so good luck with that. Like an evil stick insect. Enemy Boom. Okay. The asset that could have gone better. And is ready for retrieval. Secure the secondary facility to rescue the operatives. Well, I don't believe there will be any enemies left now. I think they're all dead. 
so let's go do that. Affirmative. I guess that's why I ended up in a sandwich. I triggered both sets of enemies at the same time. So the mission became unnecessarily difficult. for all of the collecting. Okay. Oh, man, that that was difficult. <laughs> that was very hard. My own stupid fault. I should have gone around the rock in the other direction. Well... Would you look at all this junk? Sweet. Well, that's um about three hundred thousand sea bills worth of stuff. At least three hundred to five hundred thousand. need to start taking missions for money again, but I haven't actually uh, seen any good ones. For straight up sea bills anyway. Okay. Whew, to some abuse there. These things happen. I still made a profit on that mission. Shouldn't be too hard. I mean, I definitely could have made more money, but uh, it is what it is. And all of these little things add up. Okay, just get rid of all of this. Cool. It's pretty tidy. Now, I think it's also time to probably get rid of some of this. Starting with the Shadow Hawks. They're just kind of junk. Uh, we'll keep the mixture of things for now. I actually can't imagine a world in which I use the Centurion either. At least not that one. They've all got hard point problems. That's the biggest issue. Uh, yeah, forget that. <laughs> forget hard contract. Clean out the mercs. 13 days away. And it's off. It's up for good money. Calculating course now, Commander. So let's do it. Let's get some sea bills. I'm a big fan of sea bills. 
gives a little time to fix some of my kit as well. I think we will do grave robbing after the next episode. Because, um... I might as well. I might as well progress the story. There's no reason not to. Get my hands on a, um... On a new mech. On a very cool assault mech. Right, anyway, that's it for now. Join me next time. I had some, uh, some hairy moments there. See ya!